What's the deal, y'all? We're Shabbat Shabbat 18. Intro Blues Network. Like, comment, subscribe. Make sure y'all sell. Wait, wait, wait. How did it go? Intros are hard. What's the deal, y'all? We're Shabbat Shabbat 18. Intro Blues Network. We're back in the same, back in the same. Like, cracking the same, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. For more to the content. We're going to go here at Intro Blues Network. Make sure you drop a comment because we're going to make sure big dog. But what we need to talk about is y'all hit that describe, hit that uh, description. It's a link in that description. Look, stop what you're doing right now, man. Look, we didn't short the intro for this. Hit the description. Follow the new page. We finna jump into the content, man. I just shorted the intro so we can tell y'all one thing. Hey, get to that new page. Get to that new page. We got WAC 100. We got Adam 22. WAC says Roddy Rebel can't come back to LA. That actually might be true. That actually might be true. Let's go. The rapper who was doing his thingy thing out there. You see Roddy Rebel? Doing his thing a thing a thing, thing a thing a thing, thing a thing a thing. See what he said? Who's that? LA, suck my dick. And he can't come back. You don't think he can come back? Him or anything tied to him. Bet not. Really? See, it's one thing, right? He go that could be true. We, we disagree. Here at Teenage Trappings Network, we disagree with 9 out of 10 out of 10 of things that WAC 100 says. But on the 11th, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, or like 21st time, because we might disagree with all those things too, he says something that makes sense. And Roddy Rebel has a problem waiting on him. Should he ever decide to come back to the Los Angeles area? Not a not a gonna be a good thing for that guy. Not a gonna be a good thing for that guy. No sir. Not a gonna be a not a gonna be a good thing. No sir. Not a gonna be a good thing. No, sir, not a gonna be a good thing. Today, uh, the little youngster from A Trey Hoover already identified who he is. He identified who he is, what he did, and that's what it is. His name all that, right? You're talking about blocks, sir? Yeah. Okay. So that's what I guess he's mad about that. This is how you know. You got a month, don't understand what's going on, right? Rest in peace, Biggie, and, uh, you know, rest in peace, Biggie Smalls. If he would have directed at Roddy Rebel, I mean, at Rock Blockstar, yeah, yeah. or even the Hoovers, right. that's isolated. The game got a song that says, Cribs, Bloods. Essays, Asians, Dominicans, Puerto Ricans, white boys, Jamaicans, Latin King disciples, Vice Lord Haitians, Pyrus, and Hoovers. We love you guys all here at TNN Trap News Network. That's where it comes from. Yes, it is. White boys, Jamaicans, you just diss Pyrus, all the Crip tribes, mm. all the Blood tribes, the Sureños, right? Or Samoan, or you know, our Islanders tribe. They deep. You said. Oh, L.A., suck my dick. And he did so at a time in which it feels like there's a lot more L.A. pride. And it's crazy because Roddy Rebel did it, like, on the way out. Like, he's on the plane, like, halfway back to New York. Ha, ha, ha. Forget you guys. I'm tough. And we've seen in re no, bro, recent years. Dude, dude, like, I, like, so now he can never go on a flyer. Mm. Because now you said the whole blanket. Mm. And then, who he tied to? He tied to the little wiggle diggle, the wiggle dance dude, right? Bobby Smurder. Bobby Smurder, right? Wiggle. The wiggle dance dude is crazy. Now, on some real shit, if they don't see him because they know that's Bobby Smurder, man, like he put him on, it's a possibility they might trip. <gasps> My question is just how motivated are you really that, telling me that? That actually could be a valid point. It, L.A. residents, L.A. members would be given. See, normally I would agree that Wack is just trying to stir the pot for content, but Roddy Rebel said the Hoovers, SMD, L.A., SMD. Wack don't need to stir that pot. That pot's already boiling, bro. Like, that pot's already whip it real good. Whip it, whip it, whip it, whip it. Ah, whip it. Whipping the yams, whipping the whipping the yams, turn a heartbreak to a lamb, we rocking the dope. Like, like he's already like, whack don't gotta re rock the dope. Like, whipping the yams, whipping and flipping the yams, turn a heartbreak to a lamb, we rocking the dope, whipping the thing to us. No, don't worry about it. Serving that new Maserati and the new Maserati. No, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. And that uh, now the Hoovers totally understand that he's he's clearly making it clear he uh, he wants issues with the Hoovers. But what he said about the Hoovers, he said LA. about LA. Did you see him at Rolling Loud. You're telling me that it's going to be at the front of your mind. He dissed LA. We are on it. They're going to flight him. Really? Oh. I don't know, bro. Like the whole concept of LA, 
Hey, niggas be feeling a way about that, bro. Like, niggas be feeling a way about that, bro. Like, it's... Uh, that's that's problematic. We would love to say that whack is stirring the pot. Whack is keeping up controversy. It's whack's fault. It's whack. It's whack. It's whack. It's not, bro. Rowdy Rebel made a powerful statement. And you may unfortunately have to stand on that statement. You feel me? You may unfortunately have to stand on that statement. You feel me? So... I don't know. Like, that's... <sighs> Turn a heartbreak to a lamb. We rocking the dope. You feel me? I'm just saying. Yo, yo bro, do you underestimate this, this jungle? I, I don't underestimate everybody's willingness to stand up for their own tribe. I'm more just questioning the unity in the tribe as a whole in terms of, like, everybody who's a part of the streets. For sure, I see the Hoovers standing on business. Like, if you were upset with the Hoovers because you and Pop Smoke from the same hood, cool. As me being an L.A. nigga who not from nowhere, why I got to be F me? Why I got to S S Y D? Pause. I'm not S in any D. That's weird. But why say that? Like, now with me being just somebody who from L.A., you didn't tell him you didn't in in invite me to the hot dog stand. Well, that's disrespectful, bro, because in a real situation, in a face-to-face -face situation, if we was all somewhere, he was like, yeah, any ninja from L.A. can S M D? Firing on you, bro. Firing on you, bro. Like I'm going to fire on you, bro. It has nothing to do with game banging. It has nothing to do with street politics. It has nothing, <coughs> nothing to do with none of that. That's disrespectful. That's disrespectful. If I was ever anywhere and a nigga was like, "Yeah, LA nigga, man, you know, as a pow, I'm firing on you, bro. You ain't gonna, man. What? Soon as suck come out, I'm firing on you, bro. The other two words I ain't gonna get to follow. I'm firing on you. We at that point is finna run a fade, bro. At that point, we are only running a fade. Who the entire flu flaming fudgington? are you talking to? Because it can't be me, bro. It can't be me. And since it can't be me, you feel me? At that point, one of us got to be wrong. Either either you think I'm a buster or either you whoop, whoop and all that kind of stuff. I don't know. For their unit. How are you questioning something that's been going on for decades? You don't see a lot of people dissing LA as a whole. Yeah, but he did that. I know. Do you think LA as a whole is something to play with? I don't know. I just don't see a lot of people dissing LA as a whole. You know what that is? That is a reenactment of the Warriors. Everywhere you go, and you got to remember how this shit works. All our big brothers, sisters, nieces and nephews, kids work at LAX. Mm. Right? They sweep in, they ride around the little carts, back. So now you get off the air, right? That's all I got on the plane one time without an ID. Listen, they fucked with me at TSA. We know. All the black car drivers, the valet parking people, the, the people at the desk, the people in the lobby. So now, whenever you get here, people gonna know. Mm. Whatever hotel you go to, people gonna know. Lord forbid you rent the wrong Airbnb, we'll know. Mm. And, and if you you can't go on the club flyer, the promoters is like, nah, we can't with you, bro. They gonna tear this shit up. Mm. I don't even understand why he did that. I don't understand either, especially because... Roddy Rebel is somebody who previously is... There's really no reason for him to have done that. I mean, like he has a very good reputation on a street level. I mean, I'm going to be real. I, um, I feel for Bobby Smurder. Right. I wonder how he feels about it. Because I, I, he, I, above, I I really, they are. he above really come out here, and you know, I'm pretty sure he got some relationships, and I think he understands. I think, I don't know, like, what dude, and then it's like, for you to do that, and then you did it leaving. Yeah. So that's like what's coward shit. It. Yeah, yeah. That's weird. I Hard to wrap your head around. Like, why? Yeah, doing it on the way out was also pretty weird. I don't know. It's like a I'm lot of the same way. It's it's like a lot of like New York dudes who feel that glare from the public, where they feel like they're supposed to make a statement, do something to let everybody know how they feel about that shit. Again, he could have isolated it. Yeah. And people would have understood. Let's keep it real. When it comes to um, Pop Smoke, you don't see the whole L.A. commenting on it. Right. You don't but, see it. But a little bit. You do see some of those Hoovers, and I'm willing to bet that there's Hoovers. Hoovers. When I say my mom won't stop calling, hold on, y'all. My nigga, <laughs> filming, bro. The homie. This lady gonna keep calling. Like, she don't care, bro. Like, my mom don't give a fuck about nothing y'all got going on. She don't care about none of that. Hey, 
I'm yeah, but I'm filming on all of them. Give me half a second. All right. She don't care. My mom don't care, bro. Like she don't. I called the boys' phone. First of all, the boys don't have a phone because the boys don't have jobs. The boys don't pay. The, first of all, the same. I'm calling the boys' phone. My kids don't have jobs. My kids don't pay bills. My kids don't have. They don't. They don't have a phone. These are my devices that I allow them to use. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? These are my devices that they are allowed to use. You feel me? Is the sound back on? Can y'all hear me? Y'all good? We green? You know what I'm saying? Boom. All right. Cool. Got it. Back on. We straight. Live. Y'all give me a second. Video. Live. We straight. Can y'all hear? Wait. I'm tripping. I can just go look on my own. I don't need y'all to tell me. I can see it myself. All right. No sound. Hold on. Can y'all hear now? Damn it. I got to run this live back. <clears throat> Anyway, uh, I'm going to give you all the rest of this Conciana, man. Damn it. I messed the live up. It's cool. I'll put them back here in a second. Uh, let me continue y'all to give you all the rest of this Conciana, though. Let's go. Missing pop smoke that we don't necessarily notice yes. that he gets to see Ubers. all the time. Right. But the you know what they're going to do? They're going to turn pop smoke into, like, the anti-Hoover demon that they Listen. are going to, like, they're going to, like, Listen. mention him and put him in totally songs. I totally understand him. Going at the Hoover card, and that's dangerous because he has he has an individual he can direct it at, right? For sure. This guy, mm. but but bro, you just went at the everything that makes up our streets. Mm. You went at. Where the f you gonna go? Mm. You never know who's in the store, who's in the McDonald's. You, you like you sitting over there eating with a chick. Dropping pins, taking pictures. Like, what do you, what do you? Yeah, because that's what just happened to Fulio. He was with the girl, and the girl set him up, and that was like just the ugliest of the work, man. So for sure. What, what I, I don't, I don't understand what that move was. Yeah. And then I'm gonna be real. Seems like a bad plan. He's not a voice up for New York. I got a lot of comrades in New York. This is not something that I, I feel should ever like be, become a, a a Cali New York thing because of one individual. Mm. This is him. I don't think all of New York is jacking that. No. And good use of the word jacking. That's New York slang. Yeah, Let's I know. That in there. Shout out to my boy Zine. Yeah. I love Devin Zine, man. I respect that. Yeah. You got to say a uh, word to my dead. No, 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 no. That's what they say. No, no, they say all kind of shit. Smoking on deads. Ketchup, mustard. But I'm bumps. Say that? They say that. That's some, like, third on base, first on base. Straight bugging, yo. That's some, like, old, real old head shit. bugging, Every once in a while you say something that just reveals you as being old. Shout out, K-Slay. Right. You ever, you know, you know what they call an ass whooping on the 5% side? No. A universal beatdown. A UBD. I don't know. That's what they call it. That shit is crazy. That's why, why one universal. That's beat one ass what we <coughs> would never want to experience. But if it only affects <coughs> one person, it's not really universal, right? The five percent is called a disciplinary action, a universal beatdown. Hmm. That sounds like a serious ass whooping. Right. All right, man, we're finna get up out of to the next one. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe for more content. I'm going on here at 10 and trapping networks and new skills. Now, Zito, you can't get nobody's college. Zito, big dog. Make sure y'all like, make sure y'all comment, make sure y'all subscribe. Y'all know the deal, man. Y'all know the deal. Y'all know the deal, man. It's Free Avenue. Angel. Red dots to the left. Y'all know the rest. Follow the new page, man. Hit the description. Follow that new page. Free Avenue Angel. So he's free, though. We gone.